Hola. Um, I did uh, Meridal Abrams uh, Mystery Challenge, the um, uh, Be the Change Challenge. Um, and this is my page. This is my page. Um, so the first step was to put the <clears throat> uh, the text. The second was to kind of highlight what it was that interested me in this. And well, I highlighted Simbad because I really I like the um, the font. And then I I highlighted this because it says the promptings of my soul, as well as the desire for profit, incited Simbad to voyage after voyage, despite shipwreck, near starvation, and encounters with cannibals, ogres, apes and giant serpents. After each trip, he settled down to enjoy his riches until the prompting started, prompting started again. I also highlighted something here, which I forgot what it was. And then um, I highlighted this. Above my head swelled out the three distinctive triangular sails, which are here, uh, each with its crimson crest Crossed, uh, two crossed battle swords and a hooked dagger. We, this here. Um, <clears throat> the um, third was to put a picture. And I liked Meridol's way of like cutting so that the, all the um, um, text doesn't disappear under the, f the, the photo. So I did what she did. I cut off here and here to keep the, the text there. The fourth was <clears throat> making a uh, border. And the border is uh, from National Geographic because this is a National Geographic. Uh, I got it from National Geographic. And what it was is <coughs> they uh, uh, built a boat um, the old way, you know, uh, and uh, they traveled, you can see here, this is the um, the map of their travels, and they started from Muscat, which is in the um, in Oman in the uh, Persian Gulf, and they went all around to China. It is covered here. They went all the way back to China, and these were the travels of Simbad according to the Thousand and One Night stories. Um, and they used, uh, you know, they tried to do it the traditional way. So um, the, the building is, you know, they built it the traditional way. And they, um, they used this, which is, uh, it's like, Sextant, I don't know. It's um, it's a square uh, um, piece with a hole in it, and uh, at uh, sunset uh, they follow the north star, and from that they can tell what, what their latitude is. Um, <clears throat> so that was. So that's what I did. I put the National Geographic. This is a, this is an old uh, National Geographic uh, border. They are from 1978 and 1979, although the story is from 1982. 
this, uh, the, the, um, the last uh, one was to, uh, to make something interactive. So I was, you know, I wanted to make a pocket, but I realized if I made this pocket like this, I mean, now I've realized it because I've just finished it, that if I make the pocket like this, you can't really tell what the picture is and you lose part of the text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this, I'm going to put something else here and make this the pocket. And you can move it like this to see what's underneath. And in it, I put pictures of the trip. This is, this is how they made, uh, you know, the, the boat. This is the, the traditional sextant. It's not a sextant, I don't know, it has another name. These are uh, pictures of the thousand and, and one nights. Some of the crew members, some of the Omani men, actually got married and had children on that trip. So this is the wife and the baby of one of them. And uh, also in 1982, <coughs> um, there were the boat people, the Vietnamese boat people. So they, uh, they found a boat and they thought that it was, uh, um, it was uh, uh, pirates because in the South China, uh, South China Sea there were lots of pirates at the time. I don't know if it's still true. And uh, so they got all their, they had, they had uh, arms, you know, they were armed for protection. They had the arms ready and they found that the boat was full of women and children, Vietnamese women and children. And this is the photo of one of them. So their doctors um, started, uh, you know, they, they helped them and they checked them out and but I don't know what happened to the people, really. I have no idea what happened to the people. So this, I'm gonna fix so that the pictures go in there, right? And then put something here to hold it, maybe an elastic or something. The easiest thing to do is to put an elastic. And the second thing we had to do was to sign our name and the date, which I've done here. And then we had to do something on the back of the page. And this is what I did. It's the cover of the National Geographic uh, magazine that this story came from. And it's volume 162, number one, July 1982. Um, so uh, that's my, uh, my page. I actually did it in my first journaling by five uh, journal because um, <clears throat> I have this thing that, is, that was empty in the middle. I don't know why I forgot about it. Um, so I decided to, to do it. So now I have a full journal. Bye.